What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Journals of Awakening. I am Ben. Yes, it's a podcast. And that's uh, rainy. <laughs> we played Fortnite this morning. Yes, we did. Let's get right on into it. All right. We played Fortnite this morning and fucking lost, and I hated my life the moment after. I know. It was so dramatic. Like, he really thought he was going to play and win. I fucking hate that game. <laughs> he should have played on Connor's profile. Anyway, all you little people that love Fortnite, maybe Season I'll live stream. finale. Maybe I'll live stream the finale tomorrow. Yeah, not tomorrow. Is it 11 not tomorrow? 11 days. Oh, 11. I thought it was 11 hours. No, And I'm days. sorry, everybody, on my live feed, it is 11 days. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 11 days. My bad. That was live. I can't edit it. <laughs> December 3rd uh, is the live stream. I mean... <laughs> Exactly, uh, there will be did. a live stream, yes. December, th- yeah, I just manifested it. <laughs> yeah, there will be now, I'm definitely I'm manifesting it. this. Hand mixer. CLR cleaning solution. He's <laughs> <laughs> just shooting so well. Corkscrew. We're humble. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're Any so humble. Any of those things I just now put into the universe. And I'm like, cyber truck. <laughs> Million dollar hotel room. <laughs> Just a hotel room. Though. Be on Mr. Beast's show. <laughs> yes. That's me. That would be sick. I don't really want that a cyber would truck. Be but. Sick. <laughs> um, a cyber truck, that'd be whack. Be whack. It'd be crazy. so stupid. It wouldn't last ten days out here. Why do here. people trust computers? To you know that, right? Around? It what? wouldn't last ten days in the dirt. That's true. You yeah, know what I mean? For Them sure. sensors on that truck would be I don't even fucked. know what a cyber truck is. It's like a triangle truck. It looks stupid. Is it? You've seen it? it like, yeah, it looks dumb. What? It looks dumb. And it's from Elon Musk, I assume, Yes. From the video it it literally looks, looks like a chunk of steel, like in the shape of a triangle with wheels on That's it. That's crazy. Stupid. Who would have been? Oh, my God. You've never seen it? You should pull it up because it's it's. it's I should. It's stupid. Do you think if I use a thicker needle on my tattoo, it'll stay? On your fingers? Yeah. No. You don't think yes. so? Yes. Oh my god. Do yes, you think I do it makes think so. a difference? Yeah. Because the thicker I went on my hands, the better they stuck. Do you because, think I could? Because it comes out like the pigments and should push it out everywhere. Do you think I could do thicker the next time I go over it? Or you think I'm already. Screwed <laughs> Except for the middle symbols, just the circles. Right. Okay. Just the circles, yes. Not the internal lines. Cool. The internal I can redo with the five. Tattoos. Sweet. Everybody loves tattoos. Yeah, this is a really random podcast because we had zero things to talk about. Um, I say this all the time, too. People probably really get sick of hearing that. What? I have nothing to talk about, guys, so I'm just here. Ask me questions. Well, now we're, talk- <laughs> uh, now we're talking about tattoos. Yeah, well, <sighs> there's no one here to comment, so. <laughs> See, okay, so Connor's out of school because he's on fall break. And normally if I'm really itching to do a tattoo, I do it when he's at school. And Yeah, why didn't you do it last night? Because I like, I prefer doing them in the day. I, oh, that's my brain's right. a lot that. more, yeah, activated and ready during the She's day. She's like, 10 p.m.? No, 10 a.m. I'll do it. And by the <laughs> nighttime, I've already gotten to high three times that day. So it's like. <laughs> yeah. I'm already, like, coming down from everything that Obviously, day. talking about weed, we always got to clarify that. Because I feel like when you say hi, like, some people are, like, automatically, like, Stones. you're a fucking tweaker. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do dabs. <laughs> She's a dabber. And at nighttime, I should be taking edibles, but uh, I keep passing out. Well, that means you don't need an edible. <laughs> right? I do edibles to experience and enjoy being high. It loosens me up at night. It's like why, drinking for Why you. right before sleep? No, like an hour and a half before bed. Because when I come down, I can go to bed. That's fair. That's yeah. about when I like to have a nightcap. Right? Exactly. About an hour and a half, two hours per bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So, um... So I don't do tattoos at night, but I want to do tattoos. Like, I have a plan to shade this cloud She has on a cloud my on her forearm, right and, side. Yep, and the outer one was done with, like, a size 11 or it's something. It's huge. It is. It's a really thick needle. Mm-hmm. So the inside will be... Thick! <laughs> Sorry. The inside will be thinner, and then it'll look like a big rain cloud, you, you know? shade it? Yeah. Okay. But I still need a straight line, because I need to make, like, cloud lights inside of it. Silver linings? Is that what those are called? I don't know. Sounds right. So it does sound right. Does sound right. right. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta make that. Let us know in the comments, guys. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do this black, black lightning, and I'm gonna extend it a little, not a lot, but just a little past the rain, and yeah. sharpen it. Um, so yeah, tattoo ideas, and I'm getting the journals of awakening, but not until we get a good printed version of it. And I don't have a printer at home because Ben doesn't want to spend. Ben doesn't want one because she has one at work and at the library, which is ten feet away. <laughs> Yeah, okay, but here's the problem. They're it's like 30 bucks, and it's almost Christmas. <laughs> They're 50 I'll buy you one. Shit. Just listen. <laughs> when I'm at work, I print out like two or three pages. 
Yeah, that's because the problem. Because I can't get the size right. That's the problem. No, I know. I want you to learn how to get the size right, and then we'll, yeah. we'll talk about getting one. <laughs> you just said you had to print three papers for one. Sometimes two. Yeah, it's <laughs> unacceptable. Sometimes I get it right the first time, and then I don't well, double check <coughs> myself. I know. But I do want and a She printer. comes home with like six pieces of paper with the same thing on it in different sizes. And I ask him what would look better. Oh, and I want to do that tattoo. Oh, yeah, the big old flower. You think that would be hard to stretch myself? Cause no, because you flex it when you, you bend it. So? Yeah. yeah, you so just get the stencil on right, and you'll be able to. I do I want to get that flower in color, of just, course. Just so everybody knows, um, that's the hardest part about tattooing is being able to stretch the skin. Yourself. Yourself. So if you're doing it alone, make sure you pick the right area. Like tattoos are great. I have some yeah, big pieces on my leg. You bend your leg and it swells out. You know. No, because I can use one hand and do it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I can do it anywhere on any leg. Well, you I'm know? not. I'm not ambidextrous. Or but I want to get something right here, something larger. Mm -hmm. But uh, like my human bin. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's got to be right. It's human bill. But um, it's a human bin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, tattooing yourself is hard. Well, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's it's uh it's an art. You can't just jump right into it. You can, but it's not gonna look great. You know. Like takes a lot of practice, and I'm obviously not, I use my own body as a canvas. I'm not bad. Time. See, this is what uh, a tattoo. I'll find one on Ink Master for one of my tattoos. My shading's a little sharp, so it's not true shading. It's there's black spots, and then my lines aren't perfectly like straight. They they bulge out a little bit, like a little spotty, a little yeah, little rookieish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I can really bust out a good design if I mm -hmm. want to. Like I just surprisingly, my lines are better than yours. Yeah, except if you look real closely, we need see. a different ink because it's not <coughs> as good. It's not as what? I just think the ink sucks. What do you mean? It's solid. No, because look, it's not. There's a double line there. It's a little spotty right here. There's a scar right there. The big scar. I guess. <laughs> we got, All right. We got, we got to buy that. Dynamic. That's the other thing, guys. Tattooing over scars. That's hard. Ink doesn't want to stay, right? Yeah. I mean. Like on your arm. And you can damage the tissue. I know. Well, I purposely avoided that part and I tattooed on top of it, but it wasn't like a bad scar. But if oh, it's okay. like a big scar, like right, the right, one right. on my leg, you can damage the tissue. So you oh. can't. Yeah. So and this one, it just never fully healed. So I would never tattoo over it. I would tattoo with it, you know. And that's 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 tattooing. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I just haven't been feeling it lately. I don't know. I, I want the journals of awakening because it's something. I'm but he wants about. it because it's art, not because he like wants what? the feeling of a tattoo. So no, yeah, I want my you know my channel on me. That's so all. you know what? Before I tattoo that on you, period, we're getting numbing spray. Why? That way, I can really focus on doing a good tattoo. We're going to try out some numbing spray for the first time? Yeah. That'd be kind of Because cool. you like tattoos for the art, like normal people. Right. <laughs> and you don't like feeling it, so. Right. Uh, yeah, and those of you out there talking shit about, what is it, patchwork tattoos? Yeah. Can suck my dick. Yeah, patchwork because tattoos are the best. we have a story, and you guys are fucking boring. Like, what does your arm say? I like koi fish. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Fire! You know, yeah, stupid shit. Literally. You guys are so stupid with your mommy, daddy money, buying your dumbass tattoos. That's so not nice, though. Sorry. I mean, put some fucking art on you. Don't put some dumbass portrait. Like, it's stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. Like, you need to... I, I think our canvas is blank to write our story. Right? Yes. I mean, we shouldn't be walking around looking like a pretty painting. Like, yeah, that's just stupid, I do. I right? I really agree with that. Like, I people love, just look at you and go, oh, wow, beautiful. No, I love that dumb. my story <laughs> is my own hand. So I didn't do this one, but we filled it in together, okay? And this yeah. one was super professional, which kind of makes the rest of the arm look like it's kind of right, like right, right, on right. that track. Yeah, I got a few professionals. And then this yeah. one was my first tattoo, and that one was... Nobody knows what you're talking about. I know. I know. I'm just talking <laughs> She's to She's pointing. Right She's pointing I'm at tattoos. I'm talking to Ben right now. <laughs> so I have one, two, three, four tattoos. No, this doesn't count because this guy was just as angry. What is this? This bird and this this breathe symbol in sanskrit and this lotus flower okay so i have three tattoos done on my right arm that i didn't do besides that i did them all that's really cool you didn't do them all i did them all i did like this three of those. one you did one 
the sword too, fool. Oh yeah, you did too. We should darken this. No. What? We did that with the old gun. You want to? You're trying oh, to you right. fix mistakes oh, and you right, correct right. your story. I don't like it. That's what I'm saying. I hate people that get cover ups and shit. Like, I why? Cover up. You did. Because you having a, a Pokemon reason. on my arm is the gayest thing I've ever heard. It's not even about that. Having a fucking cross on my arm is the gayest thing I've ever heard. That's true. No, you know? it, it wasn't about that at all. But also, I just don't like frivolous things. And that's the What's thing. What's a frivolous? Frivolous, like stupid, like oh, pointless. Like object. Will Ferrell? Yeah, okay. I know. So, I hope she doesn't listen to this. I mean, I love it, but there's a girl in this town who has a big ass rooster on her arm from here to here. Big old cock. The rooster, huh? No, it's the rooster in uh, Surf's Up. So, it's a cartoon stoner. Hawaiian I was like, rooster. what the hell surfs up? Yeah, and it covers her whole arm. And, um, like, okay. good for her for cool. having the balls to tattoo something like that on her. She did it herself? No. Oh. Okay. To get something like that tattooed on her. Okay. But I could never tattoo, like, a character or something. You know, like, that's like. I mean, I, I got Maui on my chest. No, I know. Okay. Maybe something small like that. I would get, like, Coraline button eyes, but just the eyes. I would get Coraline. If you know, you know, right? I get Nightmare Before Christmas. I get any of those. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, I'm just not one to do that. I really like... The ironic thing is Ben does not, like, drown himself in a television, but he lives real life, and I like to watch TV, but I really admire real life. That's really funny, because I just said earlier in my live that I watch way too many movies. That's really funny, yeah. because no, I referenced, don't. like, nine movies during you my life. You used to. Yeah, you no, and every movie I referenced yeah. was from, like, 90s. you got to <laughs> differentiate between your past and present. <clears throat> and I think I'm stuck in the past, bro. Yeah, you're always stuck in the past. Not always, but yeah. And I also, my neck, one of my next tattoos, I really want a bee on my hand. Because it's, like, her biggest fear, so she wants to, you know, ironically conquer. That'd yeah, be like me getting a snake tattooed up my body. Exactly, know? but it would so fit. I panic it would day. fit, because I'm going to get a butterfly right here, and I got these leaves right here, so a bee is just fine. So yeah, I want to do super a easy. Do a Minecraft bee. I definitely thought I of would. That. It's gonna be way more iconic. People have been playing Minecraft for 20, 30 years. I don't care about Minecraft. Sure. I do it because Jason draws square bees. <clears throat> and I should get Jason's Minecraft. tattooed. Oh, I'm gonna get Jason's bee tattooed on me. It's in my wallet. But then it's R literally N. a cartoon drawn by a child. Yeah, okay. my child. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like a child. It's my child. I thought you meant like you wanted something artistic and like extremely extravagant with shading and. Like a bee, you know? No, I, I don't know how to do that. Okay. I'm going to get Jason's bee tattooed on my my hand. So, there. Cool. Yeah, and it'll be sick, and he won't be... But it has to... I like the idea. I might get one, too. It like can, in my leg It can only take up this much space. Yeah. Maybe less. Just a pinky knuckle? Yeah, because this will be my butterfly, my third knuckle. Oh, right, 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 right. You know, so that'll, that'll be where that stops. <laughs> So, yeah. Abby. <laughs> Abby! <laughs> I thought you were about to say a sentence. <laughs> like, I'll be chilling at the bus stop, <laughs> and then I'll be over there, you know, at my friend's place, and then I'll be <laughs> going to the stout. And then I'll be, I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm, I'm a, 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 a bee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bee, bee chilling at the land. With a bee. <laughs> That's so funny. Who sings that? Uh, Black Eyed Peas and Black Eyed Peas, where is the love? Yeah, exactly. Yep, that's that an was iconic song. Icon man. I was just going to say, yeah. wow. And it's so relevant to the times. It, yeah. it, it, like, never got less relevant. I know, but, like, nobody references to it. And when people do, they just don't make the connection. Like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> listen to what it, it's like how we were talking about in a previous podcast about people looking at things at face value. And yeah. Not, yeah. So that's how that's music one of those is songs. too. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, it sounds so catchy, but yeah. no, it's like listen though. You know what I mean? Oh, I just had <laughs> an incredible it? idea. What? So you know how I was saying people fill in their patchworks with dots and, and stars. stars? And shit, yeah. I'm gonna do pot leaves and mushrooms, like tiny little pot leaves and mushrooms are all around it. That's what you want on your entire arm. Fuck yeah, it is. Oh, you yeah. are. The type of person that would do that. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I and am if, not. And if I ever one day get <coughs> the most professional job in the world, I'll tell people their money tree leaves and I'm always manifesting. 
Uh, I they just look tell the them same. to suck my dick. I climb to the top. That's true, too. <laughs> right? <laughs> if I wanted to, I could be a business owner in, like, the next five years. But I don't see that on my agenda right now. But if I wanted to, I could. And I, right. th- I think that is cool to say, too. If I wanted to, I could. That is cool. Because yeah. the only thing I could say is I could be, like, an enemy of the state in five years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's probably all I could accomplish. I love you. <laughs> I love this color of my hair. I wish people could see it. It's got, like... It's, it's like, blue. No, it's, like, a denim color. Like, a dark jean color. Denim hair. <laughs> but it's not, like, bright blue like when I first dyed it. It's, like really cool and y'all are missing out because you can't see go check out my twitter at witch cat meows or just you know it's where i publicly air my grievances just get on that youtube channel she she's on the journals of awakening yeah, it's, it's not as like vibrant <laughs> i know her. but i want them to go there yeah <laughs> there you go check i mean out this is shorts. this is i put this we put this podcast on youtube anchor everywhere uh-huh but it's made for Anchor. It's made for Spotify, Spotify specifically. So when you guys read the, the comments, I mean the uh, description, and you hear these kind of stupid shit, like go check out YouTube. That's because I'm hoping my Spotify fan base will go over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just self advertising, self promoting. That's all. I don't mean to confuse you. Like, don't anybody. you want to know who Ben is? Like, that's it, what I want to tell people. No. Like, no, I'm going to start handing people who have anything to say about Ben a card. For your YouTube. What is it going to say? Oh, okay. We have cards. We have a bunch of you them. You have a daily vlog, and if people just watch that, they'll... 72 days. They'll know you. Woo-hoo. Isn't that crazy? And people just, like, don't watch Oh, that. and I'm authentic as fuck. I don't lie at all. Like, I don't hold anything back. I try to hold back sometimes, but it just comes out. You look 28 again. Yeah, it's at the back of my... The front of my head. It's the... It's, yeah, it's like you've come full circle to where we met except now you have full style like you have an earring and tattoos and the way <laughs> that's so funny the way you your beard me? is cut the way yeah, your hair no, is right now I get it. Hat, yeah it's all low it's like exactly how i met you that's so cool i look 20 again guys 28 20 <laughs> you heard it 20 again that's crazy in your 20s yeah i'll take it <laughs> yeah um, right on thanks yeah you're welcome I must have done something right yesterday. I was like, ah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what are you laughing about? Wow! Are you serious? I didn't say anything. You laugh. <laughs> I'm just loading my bowl. Anyway, <laughs> you look in the mirror at Ben and you just, you look at his, his beard cut right now and everything and it's just crazy. Because that's how I've always told him my favorite way for him to cut his beard is. That's true. She likes the, the thinner line. Yeah, I think it looks really... The 28 year old look. <laughs> I'm so 24. Funny. Can you blame me? <laughs> I'm going to be 34 in like a month. <laughs> Numbers are stupid though. You, like you don't... No, I don't... Uh. They are stupid but I think it's important for the man to be older because I think men are dumb. Men are stupid. I'll and admit it, you know. Like men I, are definitely from Jupiter, and I feel like she's definitely still smarter than me, and she's way, way younger. So, thanks. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> I think that yeah, if you're with an old, if it's important, it's important to be with an older man. If you're like in your twenties, be with somebody who knows their ways in their ins and outs of life, even if it's not our beliefs. <laughs> like even if you're not like. The government fucked me over. Even if you're like, like, I've been doing this for 10 years and I know how to pay rent. I know how things work. Exactly. You need to be with someone like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Have kids. That's a big one. (laughs) No, no. You need to adopt men with kids, women. Fuck no. Don't do that. Get out there. That is the single hardest lesson I've ever, like, gone through in my life. And it'll keep going. That's true. And it's crazy because I I was meant to learn the lesson of raising somebody else's children and dealing with somebody else's opinions like Mm -hmm. that. Because I had a stepmom, you know, so I was not unfamiliar with the concept. So to me, I was like, let's do it. And my astrology chart is like, check. Interesting. <laughs> I yeah. was meant to do that. So it's definitely hard. And some people definitely should not do that, you know. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah. Kids, okay, here's, here's my thing. is, If you have seven dogs and ten cats, that does not compare to a child. No. I don't want to hear... I got cats. I can take care of kids. 
That I said puppies. That Why do you always say cats? It doesn't fly. It doesn't doesn't work that way. I was like holding my hair, expecting it to be blue, and then I looked at it, and I was like, "That's it's not like, blue." What is that? Burgundy. No, uh, yeah, it's like burgundy and then blue. It's like a perfect hair combination. It's pretty it? awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like my new <coughs> thing every time. It's Swag. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of purple, blue, and this red. And yet, that's exactly how I met you. What? With a little bit of hair color. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> see? And we've both gone full circle. We're circling. Circle I jerk. Tattoos. I was getting tattoos when you met me. Yeah, and when she met me, I was like, nah, I don't really have any. I had like three, right? Yeah, and then you were like normal, so I just like, I dyed my hair up until Connor was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it took me a half a second. Until I was. We'll just see if anybody Connor. catches it. Let us know in the comments. Um, That's hilarious. I want to see some some rewinding on that for attention. Right? Um. <laughs> so and funny. then I like stopped by dyeing my hair because I just didn't feel like it. And then I dyed my hair again, and I feel like this is how it's supposed to be. I feel like a very colorful, energy, vibrant, outspoken Definitely. person. You walk and around like a rainbow. Hi! And that's how I feel like my <laughs> hair and my body need to reflect. You're like the most flamboyant. <coughs> <coughs> you know what I mean? You walk in a room clapping. <coughs> do I? <coughs> ah, weed! Huh? No, I, I do. <coughs> it depends on the room. I try and hold a presence if I'm comfortable. Yeah. I cannot walk into an uncomfortable situation. You know, I'm like, oof, big oof. Yeah, I'm more like shake your hand real firm and pretend stand, like, and then stand in the back of the room the rest of the day. Yeah, <laughs> pretend like you have like no opinions on anything. Nothing. Like, yeah, I have no thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I have no thoughts when I meet I people share for the first time. All my thoughts. <coughs> yeah. I'm like, you're James. Cool, James. I'll see you around, buddy. <laughs> like you're not even curious not at all because yeah. Kara texted me and she was like you definitely gotta meet this guy and I'm like is his name James? no <laughs> that'd be funnier be funny. than fuck <laughs> and she said he wants to meet us the next time she comes down here and I said oh wow random no, yeah, so has I, he heard our podcast? <laughs> no but <coughs> he has a reason behind it he's a country boy so he's got like a truck and a bike Oh no. Like, so he wants to go, like. Oh no. Yeah, he wants to go off road oh, and no. stuff. Sounds but, like he's going to try to teach me how to skin a boar. You know what he I mean? Might. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't well, want to uh, do this with you. <laughs> <laughs> I I told her that we got to, like, FaceTime or, like, meet him. So, like, bro. we have to know what he looks like and uh, before he comes to our neck of the woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she could be with a country guy. Forever and ever, that would be like the best. Like that is so low key and down. I don't know though. The country guy you're describing sounds like uh, egotistical. He's mm. got a big truck, a dirt bike. No, it's not big at all. Oh, okay. No, okay. no, it's a very humble truck. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Like so, a little old Toyota or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So nice. And he has a dirt bike, so he sticks okay. the dirt bike in the back of the truck, which is nice, probably why he bought nice, the truck. Nice, nice, nice. And that's what he wants. Does to he do. wear a helmet? I don't know. Well, if you wear the I've helmet, I've only seen a like, picture. But it's not a picture of him. I've seen a picture of the truck with the bike in the back. I've never worn a helmet on a dirt bike. That's totally true. Because it just seems unsafe. What? Because then I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> I got blank spots everywhere, blind spots. You're not supposed to look. Dirt bikes, you're out in the middle of the woods, you know? I'm supposed to be able true. to see every way quickly. But yeah, I think <laughs> because Kara's also got that vibrancy to her. That she needs. She comes in like a rainbow. So no, she you're right. She jumps out like, hi! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she needs somebody like you that I have to just like, be hey, like, hey, old town country, bit. nice yeah, to meet yeah. you, let's go dirt biking, and very sturdy, steady person. That's funny. Yeah. And is he older or younger? Uh, he is younger. Oof. By nine Hard months. oof. No. He's nine months younger. Hard oof. Yeah. I wish you the best, but I know them young country boys are f so fucking unloyal is what I've noticed. Really? Because yes. you were 15 and you fucking married and had children Yeah, well, I woman. was in country when I was 15. Yes. I came from Tucson. Ah, uh, you live in... Yeah, that's true. I came from Tucson. You became I was country. a Tucson kid at 15. Which also doesn't make sense, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I think it'd be great. Uh, to I wore a do-rag, bro. 
I wish we had a dirt bike because I've been on a dirt bike and I was always scared because, you know, what if the tire slips in the sand and all I hear is it's not going to happen. That's what Trent's Well, if you have shitty tires, it'll happen, I That's guess. That's what I hear, <laughs> but I, uh, I definitely biffed it laying it down. Biff. Like a mini dirt bike, but I'd love to, like, actually learn, like, stick shift. Yeah. I can get my way around town now. Yeah, you could. Definitely. So I'd yeah. like to learn how to... Uh, you know, I want us to buy like a quad. No, those are scary because they flip. No, quads are way better. I like them. They're way easier to ride. Kids can ride them. Really Dirt bikes, you so. have to balance. Quads, you just got to make sure you're not fucking going 60 around a corner and you're good. <laughs> yeah, but kids are stupid. Well, yeah, don't let your fucking kid drive it then. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that my mom's boyfriend let me drive his when uh-huh. I was 15. Actually, I stole it half the time. But, uh, you know. <laughs> He'd go to work and tomato, I, know that, I know where the key is <laughs> yeah what do you mean i can't ride the quad whatever so <laughs> i get on it uh-huh. and i crashed actually with no one knowing where i was i had no cell phone i was way out the dump road and what'd you do i was i fucking climbed out i fucking i no, was where'd I, you crash okay so there was like a like it had been raining and i was off on a side dirt road and uh-huh. there was like a ravine or whatever you call it where yeah. the rainwater takes like two oh, feet yeah. gap of the road, right? And your tire missed. And the tire went in it, and it just fucking slammed on my left leg into the dirt, and I was stuck. I had to lift this fucking 400, well, 500 pound quad. Over. Yeah, no, it didn't. But it was scary for me. I was 15. I had to, <laughs> I had to put in reverse, put in drive, put in low, try to get it out of this hole <laughs> I dug it in. You know, I was panicking because I stole the thing. It you know, karma. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> How many hours? Did but you I got it had? out. It only took me about. 15 minutes of panicking. Okay. Yeah, I was panicking though. You know, I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. You know, filling in the hole with dirt, trying to get out. (laughs) I wish I could have known you when you were I fucking made it. No, this thing. I wish we were 15 together. And it was one of those four wheel drive quads, so Mm -hmm. it wasn't a racing one. It didn't have gears. You just put it in drive, okay? Okay. And you just hit the gas, right? I would jump this heavy ass thing. I would find hills (laughs) just to to jump it because I thought quads were meant for jumping. I was 15. Once again, don't let your 15 year olds ride unless you teach them how. You know what I, yes, exactly. That's important, having good parents. And I'm Have good parents, yes. Yeah, so you need somebody to show you how. Not just say, never touch this, here's the key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely, my best friend in high school, four years, you know, in a row, guy best friend was a Capricorn. And I genuinely think that if we were the same age in high school, we would have been friends. Because it's so unlikely that we would have been friends, we would have just been best friends, you know? It's like you and Zane. No, Zane's a Libra, and he's a lot more adventurous than I am. No, that's what I meant. When I was 15, I was I was a lot more adventurous. I had a cave and fucking old four-wheelers, man. That's <laughs> Turk true. bikes and horses. I did everything. That's I totally young. true. Yeah, I think we would have been BFFs. That's <coughs> why, I mean, that's why we're best friends now. <coughs> but I would have loved to have been 15 with you. Being 15, like, that was probably, like... Exciting. It would have been like Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, exactly. Like we probably would have gone too far. <laughs> we would have had a baby right there. Right, we'd have <laughs> Rob <laughs> Banks. We'd both no. be pregnant, Rob Banks. <laughs> you know, it's possible these days. No, that's not true because I never did anything. Wait, you don't think we can have babies? <laughs> you don't want to get into this? Come on, seahorses can. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Anyway. You want to call it? Yeah, let's just... <laughs> All I right. don't even know what um, else to talk about. Yeah, we can't even come back. Uh, but we love you guys, right? Do you love them? I tell them I love them. I love you guys. I love my fan base. I love them. They're so good to me. You guys are the best. And this is co- This will be called a Tuesday in November. Yep. With some weed. Peace. Peace. <laughs>